Guys, this is an amazing day. We're going to be comparing two arch enemies of the assault rifle world, East versus West, Russian versus American, the AK-74 versus the AR-15. Let's go. Now, Garantam not too long ago did a very good video. He froze test all the assault rifles of the planet. But spoiler alert, the AK came out on top. It survived all the tests. The others didn't fare that well, but it's a great video. I suggest you to watch it. I'll put the link in the description below. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Gun Tour. We've got everything. We've got tanks, infantry, fighting vehicles, fighter jets, everything that fires everything. And let's start with the AR-15. Now we've got an AR-15. Now this particular one is made in Czech Republic. It's the closest you can get to an M4, but this is a semi-automatic. The M4 is a fully automatic one. And today I'm gonna be testing out its accuracy, its comfort, its ergonomics. By the way, all Western NATO armies use AR-15 platform standard issue assault rifles. Just look how beautiful this weapon actually is. The matte finish, all these Picatinny rails you can mount practically anything you want on it. Now, time to test it. I'm gonna be checking my speed with the AR-15. Fast was I? How, how, how slow was I? Like, yeah, uh, I did a hundred meters when I was a kid with the uh, in eleven seconds. Two on the bottom, four on the top six. I missed three shots, but yeah, all in all, not that bad. Now we're gonna be doing a small test. We'll be checking the penetrating power of the 5.56 versus the 5.45. Now, just so you know, both of these are full metal jackets and these are civilian version of the bullets. These are not given to the armies. Now, how did these two calibers come into existence? Back in the 50s, the Americans realized that it's better to make the 5.56 because the 5.56 would not kill the person but would injure the person. Therefore, their comrade would come out of cover and try to evacuate their wounded comrades. So the soldier would be able to get multiple targets with the 5.56. The Russians caught on to the American rationale and that's why they made the 5.45 were for the AK-74. Now watch the difference between these two bullets. The 5.45 is longer and sharper than the 5.56. That's why wind will not affect the trajectory of the 545 that much as compared to the 556 and it has slightly more penetration power. I mean, we're gonna check it out anyway on the helmet. The helmet is an NIJ level three German made helmet and let's see what happens. And we're gonna start with the AK-74. start with the AK-74. Okay, I hit it dead center, but I don't know if there is penetration. Now, the AR-15, I'm gonna put the bullet directly into the chamber. Oh yeah, we have penetration from, from the AK, from the 545, and we have penetration from the 5.56 AR-15, both. Uh, and that's because I think these are, that's what these rounds are meant to do. Despite the fact that these are both civilian rounds, not military, uh, we still have penetration. Put the video on pause and subscribe. 
Now we've got a hostage situation right in front of us and we're gonna take out the terrorist. And ironically, we're gonna start with the AK. That's all. Let's see if I kill the terrorist. Okay, <laughs> now unfortunately in this sad situation everyone died, but the idea was that the bullets would pass through the hostage and kill the terrorists. So there's one less bad guy in the world, but I mean, it's not my fault. Why did the hostage become a hostage? He could have become a doctor, he could have been uh, an engineer, but he chose this profession. Choose your professions wisely, ladies and gentlemen, because God knows what can happen. And now we're gonna try with the AR-15. Let's see if the hostage survives this time. <laughs> okay, well, the hostage has survived. I mean, his shoulder's probably gone, but the terrorist is definitely dead. So yeah, the AR um, managed to kill the terrorist with one hit to the hostage. Maybe I can actually join the police force. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just finished testing both of these weapons. These are excellent assault rifles. The AR-15 is just beautiful. Just look at the amount of picket knee rails on this. The amount of furniture you can put on the AR-15 is just mind blowing. If I'm going to a gun show or for my Instagram or if I'm going hunting, I definitely choose the AR-15. But guys, if I'm going to war, I would choose the AK-74 because this baby, this will survive everything. I mean, this is just one of the deadliest weapons of the world. Like AK-74, it's, it's being used in a, in a lot of conflicts around the world, especially in Eastern Europe. By the way, we went to the Kalashnikov factory in Izhevsk. It's a great video. We saw how they make their latest AKs. I would suggest you to definitely check it out. The link is gonna be in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.